Hey guys, to say that we are back with another little vlog type style. Get ready with me. I'm getting ready because I have to do a few little things for content. So I decided to vlog the process with you guys. Since you guys like to chat it up with me while we get ready, I have a lot of new products that I got in PR in the past few days. So I'm excited to show you guys. A lot of them have to do with NYX. So I have been very excited for NYX's products. I haven't been excited over a product in way too long. So I felt like this was the perfect opportunity. Also, don't mind my nails because I have three nails missing. I look dead today. I didn't get any sleep last night. I didn't go to sleep till five. As I was saying, I'm very excited to use these three NYX products. I also have those cool liquid lipsticks that you put on, they dry into like a gloss and they don't move. I was so excited to see that NYX sent me this package. Like I just wanted to scream. I have the marshmallow primer to try. I have the marshmallow sponge. Oh my gosh. I'm like the type of person if I see something cute, like I want to eat it. I'm one of those type of people. If you guys know what I mean, you know. I'm also going to be using their brow glue. Let's try the brow glue first. I feel like this is going to be a really good product. So I'm just going to take off the excess. And you guys know I'm obsessed with brow lamination. So if this gives me that laminated look, I'm literally going to freak out. I'm just going to be pushing up my brows. Wait, why is this working so well already wait i'm excited stop like there's really no effort like usually since my hairs are quite wavy it takes me a long time to flatten them out but this is insane you've got to be joking what no this is crazy this is crazy you guys literally saw that like i did that in an instant then i'm gonna take the edge of a spoolie you're kidding. No, you're kidding. You're kidding. You're kidding. You're joking. There's absolutely no way. Don't mind the stray hairs, but I've been meaning to wait till I get my brows actually laminated and done. I think NYX might have did some. It's literally laminated. It's not dry completely yet, but I can touch it and it's. I know it's not going to budge. And you cannot get the same effect with a normal brow gel. Like I said, I haven't been excited for a makeup product in way too long. Shape them. I'm just trying to take the excess off from around the corners. Girl. Like this one's a little bit more dry than this one. And if I go like this, it's not budging. I'm getting really excited. NYX, you have been stepping up your game because I've been here since the beginning of NYX, like back when they're NYX Jumbo Pencils. Those. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna be using the marshmallow primer and this stuff looks like a dream. So maybe I'm just gonna apply it on my finger first. It feels like it smells like baby lotion, like the pink baby lotion. I'm gonna be putting it all over. And I've heard really good things about it. I also think that this is completely sold out along with all of the lip products that you guys have probably seen all over social media. I can tell you guys, you already know that I do not believe in primers. I feel like primers don't really work. I never use primers. This does feel nice and light. It doesn't feel sticky. It feels very fluffy. Like that's the only way I could really describe it. Okay, my brows, I can't get over it. Like my brows look so good. And now for the sponge today, we're using the NYX Marshmallow Blender and let's just take it out of its little packaging. It looks like a marshmallow. How cute. Whoever is in charge of the new product releases, you guys are genius because I'm I'm literally a sucker for little cutesy things like this. Like I, I could eat it. I'm gonna wet this though. I'm gonna actually soak it in water. Um, I don't wanna just spray it with some sprays just so we could see the full potential. I just saw it has a little tiny little heart right here. You guys can see that. I'm gonna wet it. You guys know using a dry Blender is a big fat no-no, so I'll be right back. It actually got much bigger, and now it actually feels like a marshmallow. Like, it genuinely feels like a marshmallow. Hoping that these little parts here will really get into the crevices. I'm scared about that because I really want to like this. I'm not sure this is going to match my skin because I am very pale, but we are going to blend it out if it doesn't. This here is the Lancome Ultra Wear Foundation. This is in the shade Bisque Warm 280. This is definitely going to be too dark on the skin, but let's go ahead and try it. I'm so excited for this. Okay, it feels really soft. It's not hurting my skin at all. This is definitely too dark for my skin right now, but we will be fixing it up with some concealer later on. I don't like this foundation. 
right away i can see i don't like it i remember i actually did try it a long time ago and i thought maybe it was just me i can see it just really doesn't cover my blemishes at all i just feel like it's not an even coverage i am having some trouble trying to get in the little tiny spaces right here under my eyes so that's a little alarming i'm gonna be trying the maybelline instant age rewind concealer this is in the shade ivory um this one's brand new i haven't tried it in a long time i'm gonna be playing whoa okay it's nice and spongy the only thing that i am worried about is the fact that it is a sponge and it's going to carry bacteria i'm also going to be putting it right here this looks like a mess since this is all just one cylinder type shape it's not going to be really good for getting into the crevices like right here so we'll just be using the concealer as like our actual foundation shade and then we'll be using the foundation color, which is much darker as our bronzer. That's how you can fix dark foundations. See, this concealer is really nice. It's super full coverage. You guys can see it's like boom. Do you guys also have friends that send you endless amounts of TikToks throughout the day? And then a lot of the times I'm like, bro, I saw this already. We have the same for you page. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more concealer here. I just need the coverage. I'm just going to be blending that in with my ring finger because I don't like this sponge. I feel like it's kind of taken away some of my product. I don't know why, but my ring finger is super warm right now. Like, it's really warm. So I'm going to be using my LA Girl pressed powder. You guys already know I love my LA Girl. I'm going to be using Nude Beige. I just went ahead and put on my normal loose powder under my eyes just so it's lighter. And then I'm just using this Nude Beige pressed powder all over my face and on my neck. Also, who remembers Sigma? I believe this is a Sigma brush. This is the F47 Multitasker Sigma brush. Like, did you guys just collectively stop using Sigma? Or why did it just all of a sudden stop being talked about? Because I remember it was like the top brand for brushes. Honestly, I think Morphe might have taken over because they're way cheaper. This is LA Girl's pressed powder applied onto the skin. And you guys can see how smooth it looks and when i tell you guys that la girl is so underrated it truly is because it makes you look so smooth i'm gonna wipe off my lips because it makes me it makes it look so weird no i just used my last of my la girl makeup removing wipes these things are the best oh, here's the face and now i'm gonna be going ahead and using a new bronzer that i haven't really ever tried out so you guys know i'm addicted to my warm caramel pressed powder um from la girl so i'm gonna go ahead and step out of my comfort zone and use something else i believe you can't get your hands on this any longer because this is by mac patrick star collab but i wanted to try because i've never tried i've literally only swatched it as you guys can see so i'm gonna be placing it on my face and seeing how it looks i'm gonna be taking this very lightly just going on the forehead right here cheekbones i'm not gonna go heavy in the bronzer today i'm just gonna do something a little bit lighter okay here we go we have another sigma brush i didn't mean to pick this one up but i just saw this in my clean brushes jar this is the detail blending e27 Ooh, brand new brush action this is a synthetic brush i'm honestly not the biggest fan of synthetic brushes i only like to use them for when i'm um, using creams synthetic i feel like it just picks up cream the best I always like to blend into my eyebrows just because it gives that natural shadow. It's really, I feel like it's really just like any other bronzer. And now I'm going to be going in with the Patrick Star and MAC powder. I didn't even mean to do that. But I've been using this powder all the time because I did run out of my LA Girl Banana Yellow Powder. You guys know that that's my ride or die. And there we go. I also wanted to go in with this NARS Cream blush and this is in the shade darling i recently just got this in pr as well and look how pretty so i'm gonna be taking a synthetic brush like this this is the sigma high cheekbone highlighter this is the f03 i just noticed i've been using all sigma brushes today i'm putting it on the back of my hand because you don't want to take too much i'm going to be stippling it on my cheeks quite light i hope it doesn't make my foundation come apart because some foundations don't agree with cream concealers okay so in the pot it looks a lot more intimidating pretty oh my gosh this looks so creepy it just looks creepy like the texture looks so odd 
I never do this, but I just felt like it needed to be done today. So usually when I have my brows done up like this, I don't really feel the need to fill them in or anything. But I'm gonna be taking my LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. You guys know this is my ride or die. Ride or die, can I pronounce? This is uh, the brunette, bru this is the brunette shade. I get too excited and then I can't speak. I know you guys hear those winds. Patrick needs to stop playing. He needs to stop releasing those bag of winds. And then I'm going to conceal. Yeah, if my brows are like also threaded. You can't tell me nothing, girl, because these brows look immaculate. We're going to be putting on some dramatic lashes. Also, I have a new mascara that we want to try. This one is by Wander. Oh my god. They sent me three of these mascaras. This is the Wonder Beauty Mile High Club Volume and Length Mascara. So you guys know I am a huge mascara junkie. I normally don't go for like the ones that look like this. Okay, so this one, I feel like it's not going to give me volume. I feel like it's just gonna give me length. I mean, it's a cute little mascara. Like, look how cute it made my lashes look. It really didn't do much for the thickness. This is like five out of 10. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad, but it's just not doing it for me. Also, I have some very dramatic lashes. These are Tameless Me lashes. Look how ginormous they are. Like this, this one's the least dramatic out of all of them. These are huge. I haven't worn giant lashes in forever. These are the ones I'm wearing today. These are in the style Barbie doll. This is what the lash looks like on. I really like the length. I'm going to be trying the NYX Shine Loud Magic Maker. Go ahead and put on the actual product. Oh, this is called Magic Maker. I was like, where's the color? So you put the actual color on. The way this outlines, a lot darker than I thought it was gonna be, so if you see it's much darker. And once it's dried, you can go ahead and put on the glossy part. It's gonna dry, but then it's gonna look glossy. It's I can't explain it, it's some like crazy stuff. Okay, it's for the most part dry, so now we're gonna be putting on the gloss. I honestly would never wear a color like this just because I I love my nudes. I just never go for them, but it is pretty. Well, I'll be back when it does dry, and if it doesn't, I will let you guys know. So it's been about 10 minutes, and my lips are still not dried. The color under is dried, but the gloss part isn't... It's not drying. I don't know if maybe I got the wrong impression, but everyone that has tried these has said that it's supposed to stay on and still look glossy. I'm just like wiped off with my finger and you can still see that the gloss is coming off maybe i just didn't apply it right i'm hoping that that's what it is because i really hope that the product actually does what i thought it did the formula is really good because i did swatch it just yesterday and it doesn't come off like i've been scrubbing it so i know that this isn't going to come off my lips easily but let me know what your guys' favorite product that i tried out today was and i can't wait to see you guys in my next video bye guys